Hello everybody, Final Kempach here. Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Maybe you guys not watching them on the same time, but it is literally going to be my third video. I record back to back. Uh, actually, I never did a video like that before, like reaction video. But uh, people told me, hey bro, react to JGX. He also called out uh, every content creator react my video. So I don't know what to talk about. I didn't watch the video yet. So let's take a look guys again i don't have a problem for anybody by the way or jgix or anybody to be honest like just to make it clear i have no idea what he said let's take a look at the video guys so you can pause the video i can leave you guys my opening uh whatever he said actually i have no idea but let's start i think this is always the reaction video is our working right that's right it's it's a, i'm officially doing it i'm officially calling out all of my fellow content creators and the community in the most loving way that i can do it I think it's officially time for us to take some sort of action here. So, if you're watching this, I would appreciate it if you would go bug the other content creators about reacting to this video, or at the very least watching it and sharing some thoughts. I, I know that a lot of them are probably similar to me and that they don't watch a lot of other raid videos, <laughs> so this might not pop up for them. So I need you guys to go bug them about this a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm calling y'all out. I think, I think it's I'm time here. for us to try to make some sort of a change. This game is in such a bad state right now, and we've been gradually watching it get pulled further and further away from its potential over the last several years. If you, I mean, pretty much since the game came out, and that's tough. That's frustrating to watch. Because uh, okay. Like I've been playing this game for a year plus, guys. Maybe Jake is uh, older than me actually. So I've been there like. Before the Torment Fusion, guys, but I really don't remember. I think the first Fusion I saw was Harvest Check. I think it was before the Torment, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, like, definitely close to four years or maybe more than four years. To be honest, like, current state of the game, like, especially I played it four years ago, right? It's definitely better than before. Uh, the things that I'm going to mention, I have no idea about what JGX is going to be called, but like special the fusions guys back in that day like do you guys remember the mikage fusion right now are you guys seeing mikage fusion every time they really say fusion guys it was looks like mikage it wasn't permanent it was a limited time but the way to get this champion unless you have them before on your inventory on your wall literally pull like there is no way to get this lady from the tournament or the event you just need to pull your shark to get her right uh, especially fusion wise if i'm gonna talk the game is better now uh, on the free to play perspective fusions are getting harder i can feel it i don't like the current fusion schedule i was thinking about the goal for him but man like like 8000 champion training point is not cool i can get it i have a lot of the potion safe guys right i can get it hold on let me show you uh, but this is like uh, no man like I don't like it. the champion is cool not gonna help my account so I decided to skip him especially after I see this uh, very hard fusions but still achievable if this champion was good I won't mind 8000 champion training I will get him alright so especially and another thing I want to mention why the game is better than before uh, especially like 3-4 years ago the game wasn't having any content uh, right now I, I remember that guys like content creator I was a CC back in that day but CC friends like we was making fun about the game every single day where is the content where is the content where is the content where is the content now we were like lots of the new content we were talked in arena we were live arena we got recently we were doom tower we were hydra happy or not we have it right uh what else we have we have new dungeons, right? Uh, new stage for the dungeons, hard dungeons. It's also the same thing. We have a campaign, nightmare difficulty. It wasn't there before, right? Like, we have more factions now. We have one reason to finish the faction. Lydia wasn't there, guys, back in that day. Faction War was there. Actually, Faction War is released after I start the game, I think, or maybe a little bit before, something like that. The only thing is worse than before guys if i gonna say 10x 
10 X is like, here's the thing. Like if you play in this game two years ago, and let's say they are doing uh, 10 X for the Duchess. We have a way high chance of the pulling Duchess two years ago than today, because we have a more fresh legendary champion in this game. And the Pilarium is doesn't bother to buff them. It's really make me angry guys like thinking about like how many trash legendary champion this game have. Same for the epic. I'm talking about end game perspective. But yeah, this is the only thing is bother me. Let's continue. I talk a lot. Because the game has such a good foundation. There's a lot in this game to enjoy. But Clarium almost refuses. I agree. To I definitely agree. Let you enjoy it. There is a multi there is a too many way guys to make this game more fun. Brand system. Let us to attack our friend just for fun. Let us to eat each other for the friend, right? Release a more balance update. Give people hope. Hey, bro, I got a Ryzen. My pipe Ryzen. Wait, bro. Maybe they are going to buff him, right? Not in next five years. Buff the champion more often. What's wrong with you? Again, guys, like, Pilarium is missing lots of opportunity. I definitely agree with DJ Geeks there. It's almost like they're trying to do the worst things they can come up with. Just to see if they can still make as much money as they're making. And they must be. Because it's only getting worse. Every single day it feels like at this point lately. I don't think anybody needs to be convinced that this is terrible. And it's one of many things that's terrible. Okay, I made a video about that. Uh, but I didn't release it guys for this 25x. Because there's a lots of the things need to be clear. Uh, first of all, I asked the contact creator chat. Need confirmation about it. They said. This champion over there, the slot, can be changed for the each event. So right now there is a one legendary, right? I was waiting actually two legendary. So we can place Ursuga there if you want Ursuga, right? It's a good thing to be honest. It's a 15x better than 10x, right? But let's say they are going to do Taras event in the future with the Jingwon. And let's say they are going to force to put two legendary champions there, void legendary, Jingwon and the Taras. That's not good. You know, like, again, they can change this slot over there. Right now, I'm happy about the Void slot. Okay? I'm happy about the Void slot. If they are going to keep that one, I'm totally happy. It's definitely better than Phoenix. I think we all agree with that, right? Uh, the thing is, Ancient, if you are pretty low spender, forget about the Ancient. You can get an Epic Champion, yes. You can get Epic Champion, but forget about the getting Champion on the Ancient Shark. Guys. Secret Shark can be, can be decent, too. The thing is, uh, they doesn't have a similar mercy system. So if you pull like legendary champion and it is not the champion you wish here, uh, it's not going to boost your ratio on the secret chart. Secret chart has all mercy, same for primal and the void chart. Uh, it's a little bit early to judge this system, to be honest. But um, we will see. We will see the future event. Then I like to leave my opinion after the to be honest. Right now. Especially on the void wise, it's better than 10x right now. Literally better than 10x if you want this later. Imagine this uh, 10x right now. It's a 15x. Like literally 15x, right? So. But this is the freshest of them. This is this is a deliberate smack in the face. And people are going to participate in it. Because Plarium doesn't care what we say. There's been a pattern for years where Plarium does the thing that they do. All the content creators make videos about how bad it is. All of the con uh, the comments echo the sentiment in the community as, as a whole, at least the YouTube side of the community as a whole, kind of expresses, we don't like this, this is bad. But then we also turn right around from that and continue to give them money and continue to do the fusions and buy their passes and participate in the events and tournaments and do all of the things that we just talked about how much we hate. So we say one thing, but then they have data and analytics and revenue that says another. And that's what they care about. They care about the money. Number uh, I'm a content creator official, uh, maybe four months, guys, maybe more than that, I think. I don't know. But one thing uh, I notice, I feel like they don't listen to us. Like, doesn't matter how many times we send them message in the content creator discord i feel like uh they said they listen but i really don't see some feedback from them right uh i can tell the stuff 
I see with my eyes. Before the hydro clash is released, uh, some CC, good CCs, I mean, like speaking of the good, like good on the hydra, right? Content creator. They share some information with us. I mean, we saw video, I think, before that, right? Uh, yeah, we saw multiplier of the hydra. And like, I see lots of the message that they, guys, on the official content creator chase. Rick Dorte, Secret, you know, people there was there. They show their Tranda team on the hard difficulty. And look at this, I can get a billion of the damage. If you leave the multiplier like that, people gonna abuse the Tranda. Do you know what happened? They release Hydra Clash with the Tranda Tenix. After I see that, like, man, you know, like, I got, uh, yeah, I lowered my expectation to be honest. Number one, but they also care about having analytics that back up the decision. And in the other hand, I mean, it's a free to play game. Obviously, like they need to make a money, right? Like, like if nobody spend the money on this game, they are gonna shut down the game. I mean, it's also the understandable on their side. Of course, they are gonna look their analytic. I mean, that's pretty normal to be honest. Everybody looking that. Things they're making. So if if we embrace this mindset of, well, we've got to do it because it's all we've got. They're apparently never going to stop doing fusions, so I might as well just do all the fusions. The events are never going to get better, so I might as well just do what I have. That, coupled with the culture they've created where you're missing out if you don't do everything. If you miss this fusion, you could be missing out on the next Brogni. If you don't do this event, you're not going to get all those legendary tomes at the bottom. You're, you're missing out. If you don't pull your shards, you're missing out. How can you pass up on this? You've got a 25x chance to get blah, blah, blah. How could you pass up? They're always trying to make you be empty. They're always trying to make you feel like you're missing out. And I mean, not really, guys. Like, again, like, I skip, I'm skipping the current version. I skip the timid. I look their skill. I have enough experience to call the champion bet. Just looking their skill, right? And maybe, yes, this kind of champion may be going to be good on the upcoming content, you know, which is, we can't be know that. So it is the risk I'm taking. And I'm looking at my resources, I'm F2P, I want to spend $14 if you guys doesn't know me, which is three years ago, since that day, still $14. And I cannot just like waste my resources like that, guys, on the every 10x, every 2x. Most of the time, I'm not even opening my shop. If there is like no guarantee event, which is, it's been a long time since we didn't see guarantee legendary event. Taja, yeah, Taja, again, I skipped the Taja as well. I can get the Taja, I can open my secret shop, but I look her. And no, nah, man, she's not gonna help me, right? Uh, to be honest, like you don't have to use your resources for the everything. You can skip them. Like there is nobody forcing you. There's a champion training right now, right? There's a legendary book. I don't, I don't care. Look at the numbers for the legendary book. Like, Fifteen thousand for legendary book, guys. Like, okay, I'm I'm okay. It's okay if my uh if I'm gonna wait like maybe a couple of weeks from the Columbus, I can get this legendary book, right? It's not gonna kill me. Even let's say I pull the God Tier champion, right? Let's say I pull the Yumeko. I mean, it's okay, man. I can wait like a couple of months, not a couple of months, like a couple of weeks to book her, right? To be honest, I'm okay to uh game giving us resources. I know, like, get a legendary book special on the early game is not that easy. But you cannot also do this champion training on the early game. You have to be spender to do that. Again, like, you can skip some event which you should. And you, you need to spend money to not be missing out. And that's got to stop. It doesn't I, have to be that way. I'm not spending money. I don't have a Zina. Maybe I can get her on the Tenix, but I don't have a Zina. Is that, am I missing anything? Not really. She's not that broken, to be honest. There's plenty of other mobile games that are not like this, right? And again, there is lots of mobile games is way pay to win than raid. Like seriously, guys, there is a mobile games. They are selling skin. Yes, you can only obtain skin. Actually, they are selling multiple skin. There is a epic skin. There is a legendary skin. There is a mythical skin. Each of them has a different stat bonus. Again, the foundation here is great, and there's a lot of fun to be had in the game, but. This champion pass is the most boring, lazy, uninspired battle pass I've ever seen in a game since battle passes have been a thing. And if enough people buy this, 
this is what they'll look like forever. There, there will be no reason for them to change it or try to make it better if enough people buy it. Okay, uh, there's going to be different opinion. Uh, maybe you guys never heard this opinion before. I'm happy about this battle pass. Uh, I'm happy about this uh, battle pass reward. I know what JGX is uh, talking. It's not worth it. I agree with him. But I'm also happy my enemies. I mean, not, not let's not call enemies like pay to win player. Like people would spend the money. I don't want to get them like crazy good reward, right? I'm happy to pay. I'm low spender. Call whatever you call. But <laughs> you know, like, uh, is there going to be like multiple six star speed gear, you know, stuff like that? Is that going to make me more happy? To be honest, no. I'm okay with the current. I agree. None of this reward over there is worth it beside the champion. Champion, in my opinion, worth the $40 because you cannot get even the single legendary champion from $40 spent on the shop. And I worry that enough people have. But I feel like as a community, we need to try to make them understand that 50,000 silver brews and clan boss keys aren't enough for something like this. I totally agree They're, with That's them. not going to cut it if you're trying to get our real life money. You you can't you can't do a crossover and not have the champ even look like the person it's supposed to look like. Who is this lady? That's not Xena. That's Christy from down the street in a Xena costume. I mean, she looks better than Ninja to be honest. <laughs> they don't care. This is <laughs> unbelievably uninteresting. And they they don't care, and they don't have to care. And that's all right. <clears throat> I also mentioned that on my uh, previous video, Dina drama video. But here's the thing: like people are saying she's not good, she's not blah blah blah. You know, not worth it. Blah blah. I mean, guys, like they literally give us Wukong just to log in the game by seven days. In the other hand, Hiram also doing that kind of stuff. You know, it's frustrating. And I think as a community, we can change that. You know? I would love to see them. I would love to feel like they care about this game. I would love to feel like they care about the community. I would love to see anniversary events that are something more than the number of the year it is on the banners in the events tabs, but the same events in the same I game. totally agree with him. Third year anniversary, we got cakes and threes. <laughs> I totally agree with him. They dropped the cakes. We got fours. They don't do anything interesting. Anniversary events in mobile games are supposed to be a big deal. That's that's, that's supposed to be give us those soft rewards. Saying, I agree with him. Thank you for getting us another year in an industry where it's very tough to rack up years. This is a very competitive industry. This is tough. So when your players carry you another year, you're supposed to appreciate that. That's supposed to mean something. But they have such clear disdain for their player base. Like, they, they straight up have made it clear they don't even like us. That they put a few fours. And for the fifth anniversary, they'll throw a few fives in. If that. Because, again, they, they downgrade it from three to four. So who knows what we're getting at the fifth year anniversary. But they don't like Probably the same reward. These other games, these other mobile games... Some of them, it feels like they appreciate their players, and it's so noticeable. It, it's kind of the difference in how a small business feels about their customers versus how, like, Walmart feels about their customers. Like, they, they know. I never go money. Walmart because I have no idea. They know they're getting your money, and they don't, they don't even really want to interact with you. They don't care what you think. They don't care what you think. They care how much money they make. They care what their data says. If we go into their wallets for a change, the game will get better. And I bet you it'll get better rapidly. I know that as the YouTube community, we're not the whole player base, and we're not even a majority of the player base, but we're enough of the player base. If we weren't, they wouldn't engage with us at all. There wouldn't be a content creator program. They wouldn't do the things with the content creators that they do. They wouldn't bother. But there's enough of us here. Right there's a there's enough of the whale population that's engaged with the YouTube community to make a difference. We can't dry their whole whale up, but we can put a dent in their revenue. There's plenty of this game to play without rewarding their nonsense. Continue to do Doom Tower, farm your dungeons, build your champions, 
again, there's plenty of dungeons in the game. There, there's plenty to do. I've been playing the game like this for a while in the Free to Succeed series. I have not done any fusions. I tried to do one or two early on, but like, uh, I haven't done any fusions. I don't get too caught up in their summon events. If there's a good 10x or something or an extra legendary, I'll, I'll summon occasionally. I don't bother much with the events or tournaments. I have so much more fun playing this game the more disconnected I get from everything they're doing. I promise you there's fun to be had without participating in everything they're doing. And it's going to have to change because it's so unfun. It's so unfun. And I'm just tired of watching them treat their players like shit and get away with it. So, again, I'm, I'm kind of officially calling my fellow content creators out. React to the video. Share your thoughts on the video. If you agree or disagree, fine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the discussion. But I do believe if we all came together as a community, we could make enough of an impact that they have to start treating this game a little differently. And I would love to see this game start working its way back toward its potential rather than continuing to get aggressively yanked away from it. This game feels like it's getting worse by the day. And while I enjoy logging on and having stuff to rant about and making the skits, and that's all fun for me, what would be more fun, I think, is to log in and have this game be good and feel like Clarium's actually trying to take it in a healthy direction and feel like Clarium cared about their players a little bit. Um, and for there to be stuff in the game that I really wanted to genuinely get invested in. You know what I mean? I have I have enough fun playing it the way I play it, and again, it's fun for me to log in and 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 find stupid shit that they do and rant about it. I get a kick out of that, and other people seem to get a kick out of that. But like, dude, can we can we try a little bit, Clarium? Can you can you try a little bit to do something good? Sometimes, I think we can force them to, and that's basically what it's about. So it's official. I'm officially calling for the strike. Don't give them any money. Don't do any fusions. Stay out of the tournaments and events tabs. Don't participate in these stupid ass summon events they're doing. Right? If there's a good, if there's a two X is a good summon event to, to play around in. Uh, the double Lego can be fun to play around in. Ten X's and any of the X's don't do. <laughs> Fuck these summon pool stupid ass events. Just disconnect for a little bit. From all of this bullshit. Stop rewarding them. Don't buy packs. If you need, l l let's talk about one real quick, if it's still here. Something like this. This is an example of one. There's there's multiple versions of this. They're selling you fractions of a summon. And I hope that you hear that. I hope you hear that for what that is. That is. They want your real life money. They're, they're offering you multiple different versions of packs for your real life money for a fraction of a summon. This is one sixth of a summon, and they want your real money for that. There's another one that popped up for me that's, that's 10. It's gone now. I hope everybody hears how insane that is. It's a game to them. They're fucking with you. And some of you are still giving them money. They're, they're walking up and spitting in your face and you're paying them for it. We have to stop. <laughs> we have to stop. So, I guess it's official. I guess, I guess it's official. I'm, I'm the one doing it. I'm calling for the strike. I think as a, the YouTube community as a whole is big enough to make an impact and maybe make this game better. So, let's see if we can do that. Uh, all right. Uh, <clears throat> so first of all, guys, like uh, there's a couple of the pool video uh, I made it recently, not my account, obviously. Like this is the one of them. We pulled the twenty four prism shard. Watch this video, you guys understand. And the other one was the ninety primal shard, guys. Watch this video, you guys also gonna be understand uh, what I'm gonna say. Okay. Here is the thing. Oh, speaking of that. <laughs> the timing. All right. Here's the thing. Uh, he called us to not spend money, but it's easy for me. I'm already not spending money. Like literally, you know, like I'm doing everything to spend the money. Yes, we are getting some CC reward, as you guys say. Uh, but I only start getting them like five months ago. My account is fourteen dollars since that day, right? And uh, 
like here's the thing like if everybody is free to play like that this game is going to be shut down right it is not realistic i mean we are not living that kind of world to be honest so not everybody can be free to play and from what i also see like how many times i said guys tenix is scam tenix is scam same for the what is the 25x by the 15x actually but yeah again like i, I mentioned that earlier i'm not going to talk about that right now it's looking fine inch in my opinion uh because we are getting lots of the champion recently this chance is need to be like 10x more than that so 10x need to be like i don't know like 50x to make it actually something change man right like people are opening like insane amount of the shard during the Phoenix and they are not getting their Phoenix champion I have a lots of video like uh, on my YouTube like previous video as well like we opened like 1000 engine chart on the trend Phoenix one year ago or something like that zero trend it's called the RNG guys like uh, like if we are gonna pull the champion we want it's not gonna be that fun obviously it would be nice you know oh man you got the Taras right oh everybody gonna be with Taras then Everybody gonna be over each other. Yes, already lots of the whale people have that. Uh because they are opening insane amount of the shark guys. So their chance even tenix uh is increasing because they are opening insane amount of the shark. Uh, the thing is I would like to say to be honest, like yes, there is something need to be changed. Especially he mentioned like uh, anniversary event. They they literally just changed this banner, guys. It's an anniversary. Oh, cake there, right? At first, it's same event, man. Like, there wasn't anything special to be honest. Would be nice to see something special. Uh, spent money, spent not money is definitely on you guys, your budget. I'm not judging anybody would spend money or do not spend the money. You guys seen the percent there. Everybody seen that. Everybody have a, I think you guys read, right? Everybody seen this percent. You guys can also calculate it, uh, this chance. You guys can check the many legendary champion in this game hey right and yeah like uh yeah that was my reaction video hopefully you guys uh, like it and see you guys on the next time thank you so much for the watching